Will he be able to take advantage of that against Pete Spratt here tonight? That and the fact that he is obviously the younger fighter, but again, almost four pounds heavier as well coming in. Let's go to Michael Buffer with the introduction. Abandon. The action continues all brought to you tonight by Rob Zombie's motion picture. Halloween, the unrated director's cut available everywhere, Tuesday, December 18th. The three judges at ringside are the same as before. They are Steve Armstrong, Robert Basinger, and Mike Mitchell. Inside the ring, the man in charge of the action at the bell, referee Curry Hatley. And now three five-minute rounds, MMA welterweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing white, he stands six feet three inches and weighed in officially at 173 pounds. His record, 12 victories, five defeats from Anderson, Indiana, Tristan Yonker. And his opponent across the ring, fighting out of the red corner, wearing red, trimmed with black. At five feet nine, he officially weighed in at 171 half pounds. 18 victories as a mixed martial artist, 10 defeats from San Antonio, Texas, Pete, the Secret Weapon Sprout. Right, here we go. Here we go, gentlemen. Pete, let's go. Okay, gentlemen, I've been giving you pre-fight instructions in the dressing room. Right? Any questions here? Any questions here? Keep it clean, keep it hard, gentlemen, and let's touch them up and get after it. Here we go, man. Right here, Tristan, right here. Certainly nothing secret anymore about Pete Spratt. We know what a cagey veteran he is. Really, yesterday at the weigh-in, Tristan, Yon Tristan Yonker had at least seven inches more hair on his head and about another three inches around his chin there with the beard. As round one begins, Yonker upset with himself that he came in heavier than he wanted to be for this fight. Yeah, he lost a quarter of his purse for that poor effort at weighing in. But there is no, even though his nickname is Secret Weapon, it isn't a secret. Spratt's got a right hand. And if he hits you with it, it's lights out. Yonker trying to go in there and get the takedown, hanging with it. Yonker, the former wrestler out of Ashland University, still staying with Pete Spratt. Excellent job of working up the leg. Look at that finish. And Looking Yonker throws it to the ground. What a beautiful finish. Tristan Yonker, his fight's in mostly in submission one way or the other. Win or lose, 14 of his 17 have ended in submission. 11 of those victories for himself on the ground. This guy's only 22 years old, is Yonker. He has been busy for a long time. Now Pete Spratt is on top and delivers the best punch so far. Watch the right hand. And again, Spratt again. This is what Kimmins did to him. He reaches back and comes right in with the right hand. You see the cut over the left eye of Tristan Yonker. Pete Spratt delivered a bomb to the left eye of Yonker, blood coming out. He obviously saw the Kimmins fight, it's exactly what Kimmins did. And Yonker in trouble early, Spratt just positioning himself, trying to draw back and land another. He's landed 8 oh. out of 10, now 9 out of 11 punches. Our bar attempt, but not enough. Spratt stands up. Hatley moves in, calls timeout. He can't Yonker see. cannot see out of his left eye. This fight stopped. It's over. That's it. Pete Spratt with a TKO. First round. Yunker did it again. He laid on his back with the guard, and he paid for it as Spratt belted it with a right hand. Look at young Tristan Yonker got in trouble early. Here he looks good. And then Pete Spratt reverses and takes over this fight in the first round. Yeah, the key mistake there was he used, he just backed into him with his butt to get over the top instead of stepping over. Spratt rolled him through. Look, reach back, bam! I don't know why Yonker isn't sitting up here to close the distance. Does it again, bam! And now they start raining down. That first punch opening the cut, you see blood already over the left eye of Tristan Yonker, and he could not see anymore. That eye closed up shut, and Pete Spratt comes away with another victory, his eighth by way of knockout. 
And there is the secret weapon. It sailing is. up to celebrate. Let's go to Michael now to get the official time. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Curry Hatley steps in and calls a halt to the contest. The official time, one minute, 38 seconds of the very first round. The winner, Pete, the secret weapon, Sprat!